Okay, Bob, this is what the problem is. You look at the bolt, and and from a certain angle, it does look cross-threaded, just like you said. Just like that picture. I don't know if I'll be able to get that angle now, where it looked cross-threaded. But anyhow, it's it's not cross-threaded. These bolts are definitely not cross-threaded at all. <clears throat> One way to do this is I'll take and uh, put the nut on it. Not cross-threaded. It looks like it in the picture for sure. Just as certain angle in that picture I guess but this is this is what the problem is right here the problem with these bolts are this piece here has all the threads in it right here this piece does not have threads it's just got a hole so the bolt goes in goes through the hole it lines up right up with the hole so there's really no way to cross thread it screws right in there okay I'll screw it in here in a minute and I'll show you but the problem is this is all the threads so once I start screwing it in there and I get to the end of the threads that's 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 it right there this piece here with no threads is is when you feel it it is like feels like it's a little like there's no threads if there's no threads there that bolt is like a little bigger, so it's not going to thread into that hole. So it stops where the threads start. Well, I mean, it's right about there is where it's going to stop. Right, right about there somewhere. Then I got this much here sticking out. Well, it's somewhere around that where it sticks out. It goes in a little bit. So. I'm going to show you right here. That's what's happening. The bolt ain't going to go in any further without damaging stuff. And uh, the only reason this one's in there is because I did like, like I told you. I grinded it down and I'll pull it out and show you real quick. I gotta do a little more grinding because it's a little tight. Yeah, that picture earlier definitely made it look cross-threaded. Camera doesn't really zoom in too well. But in the light, you can see if you get it just right. I can't seem to get it to focus very well right now. But what I did was... I wish it would focus from right here where the, the thread stopped like that other bolt the th where it would thread into where it you know I ended up I grinded it down with a grinder to make it to where it was below the threads a little, 
so so that it wouldn't it wasn't threatened anyhow when it goes in there now that it's grinded down it'll keep going and I, the threads are right here so it's still catching threads and I'm okay without having the threads here and grinding it down but but these are not stripped out they're just I just grind, grinded this one and made it work the problem is is before I knew that that uh, they weren't gonna work I had them in there that far and I started torquing them down a little bit and I kind of messed up the the end of it just a little and it's hard to see but it, it's messed up a little bit and after doing all this work to this bike I polished the aluminum <coughs> forks on it I spent a lot of time doing all this work to it uh, this piece here alone took me about eight hours to polish that and make it look nice and I just had a guy powder coat the frame and everything for me and I just want the bike to be perfect you know what I mean that's all but but right there that that's the problem is because it wasn't threaded up further on this bolt it's not gonna work unless I did what I did and grind it down I can make it work I just want to have this couple new bolts I don't mind doing the modification myself uh, but but that they weren't right so you know I'm not trying to pull your leg or nothing I mean the bolts aren't stripped it just that picture and uh, and that that's that's clearly you could see that with that first bolt clearly what the problem is this has got the threads this doesn't the threads aren't long enough on the bolt so uh, also if you could uh, let me know um, I have another pack that I used to somewhere I don't know where I set that pack but it was clearly labeled on the pack one of these packages it said uh, engine skid plate so I got an engine skid plate right here but this one here this skid plate back here is a um, um, swing arm skid plate that bolts on down there and I got a pack right here that says rear swing arm but it doesn't say skid plate so I don't know for sure if these four bolts and all these nuts and stuff go to this uh, go to this skid plate or what because the only other places uh, where there are there's four bolts in there but the only other places is this this main bolt but that's for the shock and I think I got a package here somewhere for the shock oh yeah here's that one that engine skid plate is what it says that I use for the skid plate but but there's a one here there's one here this is for one of my brake lines I think it's a brake line that comes through here and they they got little clamps on them where I, I bolt it down into here those two there and then I have uh, the caliper bolts on right here but I'm pretty sure I got a pack for that so if you could help me figure out uh, what exactly those rear swing arms are uh, packages for that'd be great and I notice it's got a bunch of nuts in there it's got uh, well no it's got four one two three four one two three four five six nuts in there and I have no idea what the nuts would be for because these all have nuts that are welded onto the swing arm there's nuts underneath of there the same as the skid plate you can see down there they got welded on nuts so, if you could help me figure that one out, that'd be great.